If you're like most emerging leaders, you might hold back from speaking up in meetings. You might tell yourself, I'm afraid to speak in front of people who are more senior or more experienced than I am. What if people don't like my idea? Or my idea isn't 100% constructed yet, so I'll wait till another time. Have you ever given yourself these kinds of excuses to not speak up during a meeting? As a leadership coach, most people I work with have difficulty speaking up in meetings. They consciously hold themselves back from sharing their ideas and sharing their opinions, which often leads to them being ignored, overlooked and rejected at work. Now, I don't want this to happen to you, especially if you aspire to a leadership position in the future. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you three ways you can speak with confidence and authority in meetings. How to communicate clearly, assertively and with confidence is a topic I am really passionate about. I will create more videos around these topics in the future. So if you wanna see them, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell too. The first thing you need to remind yourself is that you were invited to that meeting for a reason. It's not by chance. It's not that you were lucky and they certainly didn't make a mistake in inviting you. You were invited because your colleagues and your boss they value you. They want to know what you think. They want you to give them your input. I really want you to remember this before going into your next meeting because a lot of the time when we hold ourselves back from speaking up in meetings, it's our insecurities, our negative self-talk, our self-doubt that gets in the way that convinces us we shouldn't or we can't speak up and share our ideas in meetings. You need to fight this. You need to retrain your brain to think in a more confident way and remember why you were invited to the meeting in the first place is a great starting point. Here's a coaching exercise I want you to do. Get out a piece of paper, write down all of the negative self-talk that is in your mind, all the negative things you tell yourself as to why you shouldn't or can't speak up during a meeting. Then ask yourself, is that negative self-talk justified? Yes or no? And then I want you to replace that negative self-talk with something more positive, something more empowering that will help you speak up during your next meeting and with confidence. Another way you can gain more confidence during meetings is to leverage pre-meetings. Now, what do I mean by pre-meetings? Pre-meetings are basically general chit-chat, general opportunities for conversations with your coworkers around the office. So think of lunch meetings, coffee meetings, bumping into people in the hallway or the elevator. You can use these times, these opportunities to share your ideas to see what other people think before you formally share them in the meeting. It's a great way to get comfortable talking about that idea. It helps you know how to best communicate that idea because you can see what's really resonating with that person. You can begin to understand whether other people will generally be on board with your idea. And it also helps you to iron out any problems or issues associated with your idea. Maybe there's something that you've never even thought of before. By having these pre-meetings and this general chit chat with your coworkers in the office, it helps you achieve all of these things so when you are in the meeting, you can present your idea and communicate it with a lot more confidence and a lot more authority as well. This strategy is especially helpful if you are a shy person, if you're more introverted, or if you are a young professional and you're a bit intimidated presenting your ideas in meetings, especially when there are senior people involved. It helps you gain the confidence and the courage to know whether you are presenting a good idea, whether it's gonna reflect well on you as a professional. Basically to test out your idea before you get to the meeting. But I will warn you, and maybe some of you watching have already thought of this yourself, Make sure you share your idea with people you trust. It's unfortunate, but sometimes in the corporate world, people do steal your ideas. And the last thing you want is to share your idea with someone who's then going to steal it and claim that idea to be their own in the meeting. And they get all the credit for that idea. So I don't want that to happen to you. So make sure you share your idea with people you trust. Also, don't be afraid to share a partly constructed idea. Now, what I mean by a partly constructed idea is an idea that is not 100% fleshed out. It might not be 100% clear to you in your mind, but you have a vague idea, a vague notion of what your idea or your opinion 
will be when you present it in that meeting. I don't want you to be afraid to share those partly constructed ideas. A lot of people are and they hold back from sharing those partly constructed ideas simply because they are not fully formed. Leaders don't do this. If you watch carefully during your next meeting with senior leaders in your company, you might notice that they comfortably and confidently share partly constructed ideas. They put that idea forth in the meeting, see what other people think, they get input from other people and they use that as an opportunity to flesh out that idea and create it into something that is a lot more meaningful and a lot more valuable for the company. Leaders don't wait until an idea is 100% constructed before they share it. Instead, they understand that meetings are a time and an opportunity for discussion to evaluate them to strengthen those ideas. So you need to get comfortable sharing partly constructed ideas. And the bonus with this is it also leads to diverse thinking because it encourages other people to share their ideas with you. How do you share a partly constructed idea? Well, when you're in the meeting, you can say something like this. I have an idea that I'd like to share with everybody. It's still an idea in progress, but with your input, I think we can get some clarity on it. Don't wait until your idea is 100% perfect. Perfectionism is a major confidence crusher and it will absolutely halt your career progression. You need to trust that it's okay to not be perfect, just as I talk about in this video right here.